In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can calculate the effective annual rate of interest using a very simple formula. Now, if you're interested in finding out what the effective annual rate of interest is, or EAR for short, and how it pertains to the stated rate of interest and the differences, then I suggest that you check out the other video, which is more conceptual. But here I'm just going to talk about the formula for calculating the EAR when you're given a few things. And what you're going to need to know is you're going to need to know the number of compounding periods, which we'll call N. So compounding periods. So if you compound quarterly for one year, then that'd be four periods, for example. And then you're also going to need to know the stated rate of interest, which is I, stated rate of interest. And when you have these things, we've got a really nice, simple formula that's going to allow you to output the effective annual rate of interest from these things. So let's get started with the formula. So it's EAR is equal to 1 plus the stated interest rate, I, over the number of compounding periods n to the nth power minus 1. So let's make some assumptions here and we'll, we'll output in the EAR. So let's assume we've got in our example, change colors, example, we've got let's see we'll do it quarterly so we'll have n is equal to 4 and then we'll have an interest, a stated interest rate that is of 5% or 0 0.05, their equivalent. So, come back over here with green. We're just going to plug in. So we've got 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4 to the fourth power minus 1. That's going to yield our EAR. And, save you the calculation, rounded it comes out to 0 0.05095 which is the same as saying 5.095 percent EAR. That's our effective annual interest rate is 5.095 percent and we just needed to know N and I the number of compounding periods and the stated rate of interest we plug it in to this formula and that gives us our effective annual rate of interest